Um, you know, um, what can I really say? I mean, you know, our team just came out today. We talked before the game. Um, it was going to come down to who had the most um, heart, who had the most grit, and who had the most fight and passion. I mean, that's what today was going to come down to. Um, and I truly believe we, we left it all in the field. Um, to be able to do what we did um, late in the game um, against their pitchers um, was pretty unbelievable. And it took everyone, everyone stepped up to score those four runs to give, you know, our, our pitcher, CC um, a little bit of breathing room um, and, and our defense. I mean, that's huge when you go in, you know, the seventh inning and having that kind of lead. So just they believed and, and that's the most important thing. Um, and, and they believe that they could get it done. All right, we'll start with Dave Thomas. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. <laughs> it, it started slow again. They jump up early. What was kind of your message is, is, is they still had a little bit of a lot of momentum there early in the game? They did. I mean, they had the momentum for the first three or four innings. And then we had, um, you know, that defensive little miscue with the timing um, and all that. And I really honestly think it brought our team together. Um, I really do. Um, our, the momentum changed, the energy changed. We got out of that inning very fast. Um, and, you know, they they just were ready to go after that. And then I feel like when we scored that first run, um, everybody kind of just took a deep breath um, and relaxed a little bit. Um, and, you know, we don't we don't like going down early um, and we haven't really experienced it much. Um, so, I, you know, I think it was good for us. Um, it grounded us a little bit. But after that, that when we tied it back up, I felt like everybody just kind of, OK, we're in this. We're in this game. How big was your base running today? It seemed like everyone was had their heads up and, and except maybe there for that that, that uh, double play there to, in, in the set top of the seventh. Your base running seemed to be really on point today. Yeah, I mean, they took the bases we needed, you know, needed to take, you know, from first to third, um, the tag up. I mean, the uh, CC hook sliding at the plate. Um, yeah, it was a close play, but good Lord, that was so gutsy. Um, and and it just makes a big deal. Um, and I feel like when in, in Knoxville, we needed to be a little bit more aggressive off the bat and reading um, the direction of the ball so we can move up bases. And and they we learned from that um, in the Knoxville Regional. And man, you know, Sarah Jubis coming up, you know, advancing the third on that double. I mean, it's it's also huge and such a momentum gainer. All right, next to uh, Colin O'Brien. Yeah, Coach Laporta, I know you and Larissa Anderson are probably at least cordial, but there was some made of, of comments coming into this series from the Missouri side, um, maybe wanting to win in two. And, and Lindsey Meeks told us that the expectation of your team was, was to come in here and win in two games. Um, and honestly, Alexander did start all three games for you guys. Did, did you feel any sort of disrespect from Missouri or, or was that kind of uh, only on Twitter? No, none at all. I mean, you know, Larissa and her entire staff, I mean, we go way back and we've had some battles, but every single one of our battles, um, you know, we walked off the field um, and, and talked to each other after the game. You know, it's just one of those things where when, when the game starts and, and the game's between the lines, like it's business and, it, and it's for both of us as staffs, you know. Um, our entire staff, their entire staff, they know what kind of games these are, but at the end of the day, like they're such great people. Um, so no, we, we've never ever been like that toward one another. All right, next up, TJ Eck. Coach, uh, for Jamie, you'd be one of the eight teams that's in the Women's College World Series, and you've been close before, but not quite got there. I mean, what does this mean for your program, just when you look at it in a big picture perspective? I mean, it means everything. I mean, us as a staff, like Coach Herzik, Coach Morris, I mean, we're all just like, did that just happen? You know, um, so many hours and, and so much time is put into this, and, you know, be, to be able to say we're going to OKC, um, I mean, honestly, it's a dream. It, it's a dream. And it's not just a dream for us as a staff, but it's a dream for all, every single one of these kids, you know, when they started growing up and, and playing ball, like that's what everybody dreams of in the sport. And, um, you know, we talk about it a lot. And I, I just think they always put in the work. They put in the work on um, these seniors. Good Lord, they've done so much for this program and, and, and our staff. Um, and it's just pretty remarkable feeling right now. I'm not going to lie. You've obviously coached some really good teams at JMU. What has made this team special and, and good enough to get this far? Um, the veteran play. Um, I, I don't feel like at any point in the postseason, this team was intimidated at all. Um, going to Knoxville, coming to Missouri, um, they were very confident. And 
I think that was the biggest difference. You know, I think the, in Michigan, like we were confident going to Michigan, but then having to face the number one seed in the country, UCLA, who has, you know, the history they do. Um, I feel like we got a little tight. Um, I still feel like we competed, but this, this postseason was different. Um, and we were so, so upperclassmen heavy and they had been here before. And I feel like they knew what it was going to take and they did it. And one final question for me. I think if I saw the bracket right, it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> Number one, Oklahoma is up next. Uh, I think the team that's right there with you in terms of competition for the best record in the country. Um, first thoughts, just your first initial thoughts on, hey, we, we win a Super Regional, but next up, number one, Oklahoma. And Yep, that's, I mean, just like we talked about last night, um, we're going to celebrate this tonight. Um, and then, you know, it, it's prepare time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we got to get back locked in. Uh, we want to show up and compete like just like we did and not be intimidated, you know, like, yes, this might be the first time we've ever been there, but we want to make a name for ourselves. And, you know, I, I think this group does too, you know, our seniors um, want to do the same thing. So we get back locked in tomorrow, we get on a plane to Oklahoma city um, and we prepare and, and that's what we've been doing all year. Next up, Shane Metlin. Yeah. Um, we, we talked earlier in the week, how they said, they didn't want Kate to be the one to beat them in this series. And obviously she was a big focus of their game plan. Just how much did everybody else manage to step up when she had kind of a tough weekend personally? Yeah. I mean, obviously their, you know, focus um, was definitely on her. They did a good job with her and, you know, she just, I think what's important about this sport um, is to have each other's back. Um, and yeah, I mean, Kate has had this team's back all year. I mean, she has come up clutch for us time and time again. And it was important that, you know, our other players were able to do that. And, you know, the bottom of our lineup, what they were able to do um, was pretty special. And, you know, I think Kate knows, like, Kate is a pretty level-headed player. She's very positive and she's going to be just fine. Um, but you're right. I mean, their focus was on her and, you know, um, they did a good job, um, but she'll be right back at it. Thanks. Next up, Bennett Durando. Martin, talking about sort of the climb to this point over the last few years, I wanted to ask, what do you remember about 2016 and losing that Super Regional in three and if as an assistant coach and if there are any sort of specific things that you were able to sort of take from that experience and tell this team? You know, I think one thing that a lot of people don't realize is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is pretty special in the postseason. Um, the Missouri atmosphere was one of a kind. Um, the atmosphere we had, you know, against LSU um, for our supers in Harrisonburg. Um, it, I mean, it was crazy. So like as a coach, like the, that's what you remember. You remember walking into the stands and there being a line, you know, all the way out to the road almost um, back in Harrisonburg. But, you know, I think our players did a really good job at thriving with everybody in the stands because it can be tough sometimes. But I'm really proud at the way they just focused in. But I mean, good Lord, it, it's pretty awesome to have three, I think, sellout days. Um, and, and most of the people are, are up against you. Um, so, you know, I think it's just one of those things, like it didn't, we didn't let it affect us. We actually thrive from it. Now we'll go to Graham Hayes. Hi, Coach. Uh, I, I believe Odyssey is one of only four pitchers to get to the World Series by beating a seed on the road in the regional and super regional round on their field. To, to be in that kind of company, like, um, just how much of the Odyssey Alexander experience is what she throws versus just who she is. Yeah. I mean, the nice thing about CC is that, you know, she's a high velocity pitcher and she has a lot of different stuff, you know, um, she, she's really good East to West. She's good up and down and she's developed a change up that has been a game changer for her all year. Um, and she's confident in it. And I think that's the biggest thing for her. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like she's the one throwing the pitch and, you know, she's, she's done a really good job um, at working with Coach Morris and Coach Herzig and figuring out um, how to attack hitters. Um, and her maturity is just, is, is what is so, has blossomed really um, from, you know, her freshman, sophomore year to now being, you know, a fifth year. Um, it, it makes a big difference being here for five years and really understanding the ins and outs of the games. And, you know, obviously she was hurt um, in the middle of the season. So she had to be in the dugout a lot and you learn a lot from being in the dugout and how we, um, you know, how Coach Herzig and Coach Morris are attacking hitters. Um, and I think she, she grew up um, in that time period and, and really learned a lot about the game. Thank you. 
All right, two more, and we'll uh, let Coach get on the road. First one to Eric Lopez. Coach, we spoke earlier this year about the building blocks, how this has been building from past years. Right? So we've talked about the 19 regional in Michigan, 16 being one win away, 15 hosting for the first time, and just being building blocks, perennial tournament. Does this win, not just for this team, but this win is represents all those players and all the staff members before they've helped build this to get to this point, is doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it, it started back, you know, when, when Jalen Ford and – Erica Field and, and all that group when we got back and when we got to JMU in 2013, I mean, they laid the foundation um, and, you know, they continued being involved. And that's really important, you know, having that alumni that busted their butts for this program and are still involved. We had alumni in the stands today. I mean, they're just standing there crying because they know they were a part of this. You know, they are a part of this um, getting over that that wall that the building blocks, you know, we kind of built up. Um, so it's it, to credit, you know, everybody. Um, that has been part of this program um, over the last nine years. All right, one last question to Dave Thomas. I should got two quick ones for you, Coach. First of all, the adjustments you made at the plate, you've told me a couple of times this year you needed to really take go where the pitch is going, hit the ball where the pitch is kind of leading you to. Did Was, was that a main adjustment you made there from the middle innings on back? Yeah, and, you know, what, what was extremely difficult with Missouri's pitching staff is they were all very different, um, you know, uh, with – Weber, you know, she was more spinny um, and a little bit slower where Krings is, is high velocity and was throwing hard, also had a good change up. And then they threw in, you know, Nichols with the drop ball. So it was very important for us to make adjustments fast. It took a while um, today to start getting on Weber. I mean, our, our one and two better, they don't strike out very often. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things like all, their pitching staff is really, really good um, and they have a lot of depth. Um, but I just feel like... <laughs> You know, we stopped thinking so much and we just like started playing, you know, um, and that's what is important. You have to have a mix. Um, if you get too mental and you try to overthink things, sometimes it makes it worse. Um, and I feel like it was a good mix there in the fourth and fifth of just calming down, understanding, you know, the pitches um, and then being able to square them up. I mean, all the line drives in a row there, um, you know, we hit a lot of base hits and, and, you know, we've always talked about passing the bat and not trying to do too much. And, and that's what we did there, you know, at the end to, to get us seven runs. And lastly, the last two days you've been featured on ESPN and ESPN2. NFL pro bowler Terrell Owens tweeted about your program during the game today. Wow. You're getting a lot of attention. You're moving on to Oklahoma City. What does this mean for a quote-unquote small school or a mid-major to be able to get this kind of attention? Uh, and, and obviously moving on to the World Series, you're going you're to garner more, more eyes. So I want to ask a question earlier about people watching because it's on, maybe not necessarily because they know the game. What does this mean to your program at the university? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in the last five years, you know, we have put this program on the map, you know, not just our players, but the staff, everybody involved, the support staff. I mean, to get to this point, um, it takes everyone, you know, every single person. I think I talked to you about it in an interview two weeks ago, you know, our academic advisor, our strength coach, our, you know, athletic trainer, everyone, our equipment guy, it takes everyone and everybody being on board with the mission. Um, but I can tell you, like, not just for our program, but to have the sport of softball on ESPN, um, it, it, it's pretty amazing. And how the ratings are just through the roof. Um, so it's great for our sport, but obviously at the end of the day, like, being able to do this at what you call a, a smaller school. You know, we don't think of ourselves like that um, sometimes, um, but it is, it's reality, right? Um, so it, it's, it's pretty awesome.